Okay, here's the next quick 500EXC tip. So mine's a 2016. This here is the water pump um, seal. So I've got this set up so it's easy to show you. So there's three, three bolts and the one that's on that I have left out, this one right here, so that's your drain, that's with a, with a copper washer. So you can drain your coolant, but if you lay the bike on the side and you need to do the seal, so my bike is 50,000 kilometers. This one is a short one as well. And then this one, the front one, is the long one, okay? So then you just get a, you get a, a rubber mallet, soft hammer, if it's not wanting to move and just tap it very lightly and then that will come off. And then just double check that your gasket is good and keep it clean. And then you're gonna have a nut and a washer on there so you undo those. Obviously this was set up to take video. And then the impeller, this is a Boyson, so the impeller is on this is, you have to pull, so this pulls up, okay? And it leaves, that's the impeller. And it leaves the threaded rod underneath. But if you look at it, see how it's shaped? So you just need to make sure when you seat it back down, you, you match it flat to flat. And then, what I'm changing out is this, because this is a wear item. So we'll just pull that out and, uh, and then swap it over, okay? Okay, so the seal, this has got to come out, All right? It doesn't come out that easy. So there's a few ways that you can get it out. Like the kind of in the field one is you get a couple of wood screws and you drill a couple of holes in it and you put the wood screws in and you grab hold of both those so you can pull it evenly from from uh, coming out um, another one is you can drill what I did um, let's see if I can show you this see this uh, there's two holes in it right so what I did I drilled the two holes in it and then used a pair of these and tap those so these are for retaining ring pliers tap these into place and then pull it out with that so that's that's out so obviously because it's in the engine and it's coolant you want to make sure that um, there's nothing in there so any little fragments of metal dirt whatever clean that out nice and thorough and then uh, put your new one in and uh, call it good. Button it all back up. And the reason for that is you don't want your coolant, as the impeller is spinning and this wears, that the um, that seeps into the engine, goes into your engine oil. So oil on the back side, coolant on the front side. So again, here you go. Um, I'm not sure if this, because the, the thing is scribbled out, I'm not sure if that is the correct part number. Well, that is the correct part number, but uh, just double check on your model, whatever it is, and that's what you need. Um, and you just lay the bike on the side, you lose a little bit of coolant, put it all back together, top off your radiator, and, and you're good. So there's the new one in place. So get an egg on, make sure you blow everything out of the way. Make sure you go through your impeller and make sure there's no crap in there. I've got to clean this one off. So we're gonna clean that off, get all the all the stuff off it, which is crystallized coolant, a little bit of Loctite, maybe a little bit of dirt, so make sure that's clean. And uh, do the same with your cover. Put that on there, button it up, and go for a ride.